Hello everybody, Grace Joe Blaze, and we're back with more colon survival. Yes, I've changed the name of the game. Unintentionally, but that's how it goes. I was up there on my beautiful screenshot pedestal. Gotta go ahead and grab these leaves here. I use leaves now as the screenshot material. Actually, it's all my screenshot material. Because leaves are amazing in that they, like, go really fast. In other words, when you grab them, you grab them really fast. Okay, so you guys had some hilarious ideas. So a lot of people have mentioned, like, posting guards up over here. There's only, there's a, there's a couple of issues with that. The biggest problem is that corners on the ground, like, you could put guys on the freaking roof over here. That's terrible. I'm not gonna put guards on the roof of the, of the, where these poor guys are supposed to be living. But, someone came up with a fantastic idea. I think I'm going to abuse it. They said, basically build a tunnel that goes from the house into the castle this way people can this is hilarious you block off the doorways okay so it's like the door is closed zombies can't get in and then when it's time to go to work the guys just go down their little base and pop out in the in the castle and then they go out in the fields and stuff like that that is absolutely glorious i'm actually gonna try that real fast because I noticed something. Uh, the other night, where do I want to put this? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right over here because this way I'll know that it's like right next to the uh, right next to the the castle. If I just go straight ahead. So here we go. This is twisted, but whatever. We're gonna do it. We're gonna build a little underground cavern right over here in the dirt. And we actually have to go down a little bit, because if we don't, we're going to end up in the moat. Um, let's see here. I wonder how far down I should go. Because we have to go under the moat. This is, this, hold on a second. Oh, I found something else out, too. I don't think beds are assigned. Remember how we made these beds specifically for the archers? In other words, all the beds were taken. We made two archers. They were without beds. And then I put beds in here, and the archers didn't go here. This is because I think that beds aren't, like, assigned. Like, I don't know if there's a code where when it's nighttime, it just automatically sorts all of the characters to get, like, the first bed they can go to or what. But, so these guys are in here, so I had to block off these doorways over here, otherwise they would get jacked. We're going down here. Into the darkness. Because we're gonna have to plow on through here and come up. Underneath, I have no idea actually where I'm gonna come up underneath. Uh, this should a little bit further, I do believe, and we should be right beneath the palace. This is gonna be very interesting. I can actually hear in the surround sound that there's arrows. Whoa! Siege mode. The banner was disconnected from the world. What the hell? How? Why? Okay. Oh, oh hi there. All right, hold on. I need to fix this. How is the banner disconnected from the world? How is this possible? Crap. All right, we need to we need to run. Huh! My banner shouldn't be disconnected from anything. It should be right back here. The banner's right here. You can't lie to me. Why would it say the banner's disconnected from the world? The banner's right there. Is it because I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Let me try something real quick. Let me see if this fixes it. Is it because I, I blocked off this house? I don't think it is. All right, guys. I, I don't know what's going on. We got siege mode activated here. Now, siege mode doesn't do anything, like, too amazing. What it really does... Yeah, I don't know, man. I fixed that. That didn't do it. These zombies can absolutely get to my, to my flag. All that siege mode does right now is uh, cost a lot more... Of the uh, of the food per day. Hold on, let me. Why can I? Okay, let me remove it. And here, I mean, I'll put it. It's right there, man. Good. Are we good? We're not good. Okay, siege mode just got deactivated. I I actually don't know why it was activated and then deactivated. Uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. I. When I opened up the house, it took a while, but it was deactivated. I don't know if the house is the reason, 
that it was activated? I, man, I can't tell. Hold on though, let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and dig my way up here. And see what, see where we, where we ended up at. Perfect! Look at this crap! We ended up right in the middle, there's like a, it's kind of like a weird area here now, like this weird little drop zone over here. I could probably move this, I don't know where I'd move it, maybe like behind these steps or something. Maybe that would be even better, because right now this, this kind of like weird drop off exists here. Hold on, let me head down here and just make sure that, uh, everyone seems to be able to climb it okay. They should be fine. Yeah, look at this, and then I built this up this way. So they go down here, hold on, we got one like random block, let me go ahead and put, this way it's all wooden steps to go down like that. There we go! Yes, interesting. I could also get rid of this grass and put like bricks there or something like that. Alright, so I went nine down last time. So I went nine down again. And if I carve, hold on. If I carve this wall out, we should meet our other cavern. And this way I don't have to make like a ton of different openings inside the castle. I can just have one opening and everyone will go through that opening. I'm really hoping this works. I think it should. I mean, all the math is the same, right? Just gotta keep digging over here and eventually we should run into, yes! I think, is it? Yeah, right here. Oh, wow, we were down, we were down one more. Ooh, okay. Um, that's all right though, because they can hop over one layer. Uh, I could also, I could also dig this up one. All right, it totally worked. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just starting to put down planks, like just a little wooden pathway. Kind of like we made this boardwalk under here. And then it'll go up in here. So now there's two different houses connected. Hold on now. Uh, this way. There's two different houses connected. I can fix all these stairs as well. So what we can do is we can put beds in both these houses. And right now I'm utilizing this as the door. I don't know if I want that as my door. Maybe I'll do the regular planks as the door. This way they pop even more. You know what I mean? Like there's even more uh, like color variants. So what we're going to do, let's put a whole slew of beds in here. I'm going to put at least eight. So four in each. And that way I'll get rid of a lot of the beds inside the castle. Because all these peasants shouldn't be sleeping in the castle. They should be sleeping in their, in their, their own homes. Only the king should be in the castle. The castle belongs to me. I can even do like six beds. Because you figure, I don't know, a man, a woman, four kids... I don't know, it's medieval times. They had a lot of kids back then, right? Go over here. Put a couple more beds down. Oh, the other thing is, someone had mentioned, why not do, like, a floating island? And then someone else mentioned, build a church? I think we're gonna do both. We're gonna do a floating island church. So there, there's the double bed for the parents. Uh, and then kind of like, there's the two siblings. And... Where else do I want a bed? We could put like a bed over there and like another bed over there maybe or something for right now. This way there's beds all inside. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw down a couple more logs over here to lock that up. Let's do the same thing over here. How many beds do I have on me? 41 beds? I I didn't know I had that many beds being crafted. Anyway, bed over there, bed over there, uh, bed over there, one there. And then we'll do again, one there, one there. Okay. So that should do it. We should have... Oh, we have actually more beds than we need. That's fine. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is lock this up. Oh, I don't really need to. I could go underground if I wanted to like everyone else can. And, oh, it's turning into night here. Let me go over here and we're going to jack two of these beds real quick. Hold on now. This way no one's using them. Bed from there. Bed from there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that's the start right... Siege mode activated. These guys have no pathing. Okay. Can they not figure out how to traverse? How about now? Siege mode deactivated. Huh. So, if you build a path into your castle, but then you close it off, but another path exists, siege mode activates? That doesn't seem right. Because there's still a path into the castle. I mean, like, all these other places were paths, and I closed them off with moats. This is really, really odd. Yep. That's exactly what it is. When I close off the house, 
Siege mode activates. That's the weirdest thing. That, I don't think that that should be like that. Um, because there's still a way to get to the flag. But, alright, that's fine. I think, maybe if I put like one more guard up here, they should be able to take out any zombies that try and get around to the back of the house. That's the only problem though, man, because if zombies get around to the back of the house, things could be really, really bad for us. All right, so I'm gonna start on the floating church over here in the sky. I think I know how I wanna build it. Remember how I said this clay looks like, uh, it looks like snow? It also kinda looks like clouds. So maybe what I can do, oh, this is gonna be real interesting, man. I'm gonna have to be very careful about this. What I can do is I can make a platform out of the clay and it'll look like a cloud. It'll, so it'll look like the, uh, it'll look like the church is floating on a cloud. Someone said they were like, Gray's not building a city. Gray's building Skyrim or something like that. Or Gray will have built Skyrim by the time this is done. That's it. That's our new Imperium now, boys. We're building, we're building friggin' Skyrim. We're gonna build a whole damn place before, before we're done. That's our goal. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get down from here. This is gonna be very, very interesting. Um, well, where there's a will, there's a way. Now, I blocked off... I blocked off that house again. I moved the banner in front of the... of the hole I carved out of the ground. I'm gonna see if because the banner is now in front of that hole, it's... it's... maybe the closest path to the... So the banner is the one that's considered blocked. I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm still trying to learn all of the different, all of the different like rules of the game. It's also possible that things are gonna change too. The developers always change the game. That's how we just got all this clay, uh, and then the bricks and stuff like that. So I mean, and that's awesome too. I'm glad he's constantly making changes. I just wish I knew exactly how that worked. I could probably just ask him. And you guys are always saying too, eat bread. Yeah, I know. I, I don't I don't keep very much well I almost never keep it on me because I'm always busy doing stuff um, So I always say to myself. I'm like, I don't need any bread. I'll be just fine None of the zombies can't get me and I mean I've been lucky so far <laughs> But it's it's totally possible these zombies will come up behind you and smack you with the giblets in a heartbeat So I do need to take care about that. Oh, this is this is actually gonna take quite a bit of clay to make a cloud big enough for a a the size of the church that I want on it. I call it a church, place of worship, holy temple. It really doesn't matter. It's just supposed to look cool and medieval. We're gonna see if Siege Mo activates in a little bit here too. That that uh, tree over there is gonna be my landing pad. That's how I'm gonna get on the ground. The other thing is too is uh the other i want to do some other stuff too i still haven't messed around with the castle i'm building everything else i told you but it's kind of fun some people said that my house looked pretty good thank you for that i told you i uh i don't exactly know what i'm doing but i pick things up kind of quickly so i don't know maybe we'll get to the maybe i'll get to the point where i can be a competent builder no i don't say great builder i just say competent builder mind you yep siege mode activated all right we're gonna we're gonna fix that in just a little bit here. That's a cool sound for the siege mode, I will say. So, but siege mode doesn't really mean anything other than the uh, the expenditure of all the food and stuff like that. And, I mean, luckily I have a ton of food, so I can sit up here and just kind of get these last few blocks in and not feel like I'm screwing myself over. All right, let me get down here like this, like this. Go ahead and grab some leaves this way as I fall. There we go. No damage taken. How do you like them friggin' apples? Oh, holy crap. This is super bad. This is super bad. Uh, uh, uh. Go, go to your beds. Everyone go to your beds. Um, oh, this is cool, though. I wonder... Hold on. Everyone seems to be going to sleep now. So as long as I have one of these entrances open... Everyone's fine. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, well, fine. Game, you want to play that way? We're going to play that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get at least one more guard over there. This way I have enough guards to fend off any zombies so they don't go inside the friggin' house. There we go. This side of the castle is very well defended, and our, peasant, our peasants shouldn't have anything to fear. As a matter of fact, you know what I'll do? I will put... 
I will put one more bed out over here. If we get enough houses, we can actually start getting rid of all these beds back here in the palace. I'm going to put one more bed over here. And I'm going to put one more guard over here. And that should we should have enough guards easily to protect this entire side of the castle. And the peasants that are asleep shouldn't have to worry about anything. Let me go ahead and put this over here. And we're going to do... Oh, I have one in my inventory. There we go. Yes. Take up a position, my man. Take up a position. Now no one, no one can possibly thwart my people. So the back door is open because we don't have a choice. That back door gets to stay closed. Actually, that's really good. So only one house ever has to remain open. The rest of them can remain closed. That's actually going to be really, really useful because what I'll do is I can then use your guys' suggestion to some effect. All I have to do is make sure that all of these other houses the pathway connects to this main house and this main house's pathway stays open you guys were saying to put some shrubs out i could do that hold on here i wonder what like this taiga grass hold on real fast let's see what this looks like i haven't messed with this yet i didn't even show you guys this so if we put little shrubs there you go got cute little shrubs on the side here see it's a different color than the normal grass Oops, hold on it's a different color than the normal grass right there. What do you think? You guys are saying put some bushes up. We can actually put bushes all the way around our pathway here. Like little gardeny shrubs. People are also saying too, make like a big hedge maze and funnel monsters in that way. I told you, we could. We totally could. I don't know where I want to put it though. It just, it doesn't fit the theme right now. Like the, my theme right now is sleepy medieval city. Yeah. That's the theme right now. Oh yeah, baby. Call me Lando Calarizian because we're making Cloud City up in here. I think I've made the cloud wide enough. Now I just, the cloud is actually really freaking wide. It's almost as wide as the palace. Um, so now I'm gonna make it, in fact, maybe this is where, maybe this is where the throne room will be. Up over here. His, the most holy throne room of gray. This is where we will be. And I will, perhaps I will even have a few of my most loyal subjects up here in Cloud City. Looking down upon all of the sadness that befall those that walk upon the normal grasslands. The zombie attacks. The plagues. The starvation. Although, to be fair, we have, like, a ton of food. I don't think any of my people have ever thought for a moment that they were going to starve. These guys have been living off bread forever. Now, you know what? I just thought about something. We've been talking about like more monsters, more blocks, more variants, uh, and stuff like that. Something I just thought about I'd like to see is more food sources. Uh, like it would be cool if there was like little deers or bunnies and stuff like that and you could hire, just like how you could hire a wheat farmer, maybe you could hire a hunter and when the daytime is around, he goes out and he shoots arrows at little little woodland creatures. And then, you know, when the nighttime comes, he, he comes back home and he doesn't get killed by zombies. And he doesn't go out too far. Like, you know, maybe there's like a range that he'll go out in or something like that. Oh, or maybe just like making the wheat farms and stuff like that, you can designate an area of hunting. And maybe that like, like auto populates rabbits and deers and stuff like that. Like, I know that's like a little weird, like, oh, you're auto populating rabbits and deers just to hunt them and stuff like that. I don't know. It's the same thing with cows and stuff, but no, I mean, really, I think it would work pretty good because that's basically the way that all the systems work right now. Like all your tree systems and everything, you know what I mean? Like I don't send a guy out to cut these trees down. I make a tree field and then he plants trees and he beats them up. All right. We've got a 16 by 16 platform up here. That should be plenty big enough. Now, I just need to figure out how I want to build my church. Um, I've never built a church before, so I really am not exactly sure how I want to do this. You know, the, the castle actually looks pretty sweet from up here. Like, our castle is super basic, but it looks pretty damn cool. You know what else we could do as time goes on and, like, we expand our castle even more? Because we can expand out, like, this way. Like, imagine I'm grabbing a corner of a of a thumbnail or something and I'm dragging it this way so it can get wider this way and it can get longer back this way it could actually go underneath of the floating temple 
and then it's like it's cool it'll be like there's the castle but then on like above it in the clouds there's like this cool floating temple i don't know all right man the sky church is underway I don't know the meaning of excessive. Actually, this probably isn't that big. Well, it's gonna be a little bit bigger because I'm gonna flare out the sides one more time. I don't know how long I wanna make this thing. Uh, so right now I'm making it pretty damn long. We have gone past the cloud right now, so I'm gonna have to make more clouds. Luckily, clouds are a dime a dozen. <laughs> All it takes you is some freaking clay, and you too can make clouds of your choice. There we go. Yeah, this is like, so here you got your entryway. We got some steps leading up to the entryway. This was just me getting centered. I, I'll probably just get rid of these. You got your steps going up to the entryway. Here's your little foyer over here. And then this is kind of like the main cathedral area. And I'm going to have two segments off on the side over here because I think it would look cool. I don't know what they're going to be for. I don't know. Man. One of them will be for uh, the area where I do my paperwork at or something like that. And then another area will be for my medieval secretary. I really, I couldn't really tell you. I say medieval secretary. What is that called? A scribe? I think that was called a scribe. Wasn't it? I'm not 100% sure. Who's who's my medieval buffs? We have anyone out there that does, uh, that does all kinds of awesome medieval interesting things? I don't know why I have this going up a step. I want to bring this down one step oh i know why because i'm an idiot and i forgot to take that out there and put this down here well that makes perfect sense oh leave it to gray leave it to gray but yeah if there's maybe some people in uh what is it, the sca in there have you some uh rec um i almost said recreational historical recreation individuals perhaps that's what it's called recreational yeah i do i do recreational medieval time stuff you know how it is I don't, well, I guess you could do recreational medieval time stuff, especially if you go to the place. By the way, anyone like going to medieval times? I will say that is a place that I have had a lot of fun with as a child and actually as an adult as well. I've gone there with the wife before. She never went there before, and when I took her there, she was uh, very, very impressed. Uh, she had a good time. Well, we all had a good time, but it was pretty awesome. Our night lost, but I remember as a, as a young child, my night won. So, I'll remember those days and pretend that uh, they were slightly duplicated when I was with someone of great importance. Oh my god, I almost walked right off the edge. Someone said, Gray, leave your, uh, leave your colony idle all night. That's no big deal. I leave it idle as it is. I don't even deal with it anymore. I don't attack zombies or anything. They do their damn thing. We have a lot. We have a lot of guards, though, uh, compared to the amount of people. So... I think that realistically, like our guard amounts are, are extremely high. Um, so there's no, there's really nothing for us to worry about in that vein. The, no one can, the zombies can't get in right now. There's just no way they can die. But to me, this is more of a building game as of right now than it is like, uh, than it is like a, a survival game. There's definitely survival stuff that happens. There we go. Go into my nice little office over here. There's definitely, obviously, survival stuff that happens. But I think about this more almost like just a, uh, a crafting style of use your imagination game and build stuff from there. Now, like I said, the developer is going to be expanding stuff greatly. And he already mentioned that he wants to have different monsters and stuff like that. And that's awesome. That's totally fine. I will, I will fight me some monsters to the last man. But... In the meantime, when we don't have that kind of stuff, I am more than happy to try and build things that you guys suggest. You guys also suggested a zombie protected medieval jacuzzi. Uh, where do you guys come up with this stuff? Um, okay. I can try and do that for sure. Oh, here, you know what? You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, here. I'm still the king of this place. All right, I got to show these guys what friggin' time it is. Let me get on my cloud here. You ready? You ready for this? Watch this zombie right here. I, I gotta wait until he's out of the tree. Alright. Here we go. They call me Gregolus. Alright. Right there! There you go! I helped everyone out. Your king is still around, guys. I'm just doing a lot of building right now, alright? I Give give me a break. Alright, man. I got the outline done right now. I'm just kind of building up the bricks over here. That's kind of like the outline right now. I may even build it back further, but I want to get it built. Here's the two offices, okay? 
We got our offices right over here. I, even, I may even make like wooden archways or something like that. Nice and big. I wanted double doors for these. Uh, instead of single doors, I feel like double doors just give you like so much more space with the field of view. It, feel, it feels more like I have a large area to walk through. I kind of like that. But anyway, for right now, I'm just going to build up all these here. It is a beautiful day outside. The birds are chirping. Oh, the developer mentioned too, he does want to get weather effects and stuff in. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, the sun is, like, I do love sunny weather. Lord knows, especially considering where I live at. But I would also definitely like to see, like, some snow and some storms. And someone said seasons. Like, it would be cool to see seasons and stuff like that. We're going through a lot of bricks. Uh, yeah, seasons would be awesome, too. I'd be totally fine with that. Building in the sky like this is actually a little bit of a challenge because I'm constantly looking around to make sure that I'm not going to, like, fall to my death. You know what I mean? So, like, like I, I put these bricks down. I have to look behind me because I'm like, oh, God, how close am I to the friggin', to the friggin' end over there? Man, am I glad I got this many bricks. Holy crap. I don't remember if I have a miner right now mining bricks. Um, I'm mining damn near everything else, so I may just put a dude down to start mining bricks again because, uh, the bricks are going fast, man, and I'm gonna make this much taller still. I probably want to make, like, this front portion here will be this tall, but the back portion is gonna be, I don't know how tall I want to make it. I've decided I'm gonna make the back portion eight tall. Uh, so it's gonna be four and then four more. Oh, hold on. But you can only reach three down. So I kind of am building it like this. So I do 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 do. And then I build one more there. And then do do do. And then one more. Pff, Jesus. I gotta get. Oh, no wonder it's not working. I don't have any bricks on me. Oh, well, we're getting close to a thousand bricks, boys. We have used them big time. All right, I'm just starting to build a little roof over here. A little roof on the, uh, on the very first part of the church and we're gonna have to there's gonna be a lot more roofing as well um, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this oh this may have worked out fairly perfectly I, I got like I made like a little sloping roof you know what I mean like it comes up and then and then like it slopes down like this like it flares out I kind of like that I think it worked out pretty good um, I mean I'll, I'll have to look at it from the ground to really know for sure but I think it's doing okay and so now I'm going to start on the secondary roof and how this is going to go. Oh, oh this is going to be close, man. Oh, I'm dancing with death now, baby. So this is going to flare out once like this as well. Um, and it's going to go, it's going to go all the way across. Now this roof, like the main roof of the, of the, uh, the church, I'm building like a steeple style. You know what I mean? I think, I don't know. I think that'll work out pretty good. Holy crap. I've gone through some planks. I have gone through some freaking planks. That should be okay. Do I still have... Yeah, I still have a lot of logs. So it shouldn't be a problem. Um, I decided to make this roof out of these planks here. I kind of like it. I kind of like the... Uh, kind of like the look of the planks for this. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. And I should be able to shave off a lot of these... A lot of these planks later on, like inside of this place, to make the ceiling vaulted. That should be pretty cool. Woo! Roof is done! Oh my god. Holy crap. All right. We go ahead and start building these walls up here because these are all going to be enclosed. Now I'm going to have Ooh, I wonder if I could make like if I wonder if I could figure out a way to make like stained glass or something like that, like with the different blocks that we have. That'd be really cool. Um we don't have a ton of different colored blocks is the only issue. So I'm not sure how well I could make it happen. We may be able to run around the world. You guys were saying do some exploring. We may be able to run around the world. And like find some blocks that way. Uh, oh, I still have a. I still have to use a lot more planks. Do I have more planks? I've got some temperate logs. Uh, I could put that over there. That over there. I could make myself a whole crap load of planks. Luckily, it's you get four planks per log, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so we should have we should have enough planks now to do everything that we want to do. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's taking a little bit, but we're getting there, man. I just got to... There we go. I was going to say, I've got to start completing the the roof on this side. Oh, oh, just kissing death, baby. Just kissing death. I want to get this side done. I think we're going to call it after this because, holy crap, I have been building for a while. Now, again, to be fair, once I build something 
and I have like a blueprint I kind of I can build it a lot faster the next time But I don't really know if we're ever going to need another church um, So for right now, this is probably all we're going to have Let's get that there and I'm gonna build this ceiling the same way I built the other ceiling It's gonna be like a wraparound. Okay Woo! I think we're uh Mother of God I think we're just about done for right now. Let me go ahead and eat some bread here. Oh, oh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It could use a couple of windows here and there. That's for sure. Uh, maybe like a window over here. There we go. A little bit of light in this place would be kind of nice. Oh, look at me not, not finishing up a wall over here. This is the other issue too, is I'm going to have to do a once over. Now the roofs are not complete yet. I haven't like fully completed the roofing and stuff like that. I've got kind of like a little stained glass thing going on. Let me go ahead and put that up there real fast. There we go. Now at least we have a couple of windows. We got some torches lighting the place up. That is a hell of a vaulted ceiling. There's our little bit of stained glass coat of arms or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I can get rid of some of these wooden chunks over here. This is what I was talking about. Um, as time kind of did its thing. Well, I don't know. Do I like that wood piece there? Because it, nah. I'm gonna get rid of it for right now. There we go. And let's see, is there, I can do a lot, I can probably get rid of a lot of wood up there. We have to finish the back portion off, finish this side portion off, but hold on a second. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Hold on now, let me, uh, I don't know, I'll jump down on some stone bricks, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I totally missed. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, hold on. Hold on. I said I was gonna use leaves, but damn it, I wanna see this right now. Oh yeah. There it is, baby. The church in the clouds. Pretty damn cool, if I do say so myself. I think it came out all right. It's coming out pretty damn good. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to extend our cloud. Like, big time. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Colony Survival. Having a great time with this game. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>